And many of you remember this old bridge on Highway 33, north of Knoxville, south of Tazewell. I remember it when it was silver. But most people in the later generation remember the old green bridge, the Veterans Bridge. Across North Lake on the Clinch side, they remember it looking like this. But it looks like this now. Time moves on. The new bridge opened up 2015-16, and here's what it looks like. It's a beautiful bridge. And you wonder if it'll last as long as the old Veterans Bridge was built in 1936. Now I'm going to share with you some of the places and some of the sites around this bridge and the old bridge itself. Where, it was, where the original first 33 bridge was. And more of you don't know what I'm talking about, it's right here located in this little circle between Union County and Claiborne County on Highway 33. Now this old Tennessee Valley, it's a simple place, a beautiful place. Simple life of farmers, loggers, living up and down this valley, Powell Valley mostly, and the rivers of Clint and Powell River flow through it, and it flowed for thousands upon thousands of years. And at first, all they had to cross these riverways was, was ferry. But as modern times started to come on, these vehicles in the early years, they know they couldn't use and rely on these ferries forever. And they started out with these little old roads. They didn't have much to drive on. Old wagon roads looked look, look something like this back through the distance. And when it rained, they were really poor shape. A lot of them got stuck places like this. And they had no bridges at all back then. When it come to a little old creek or crossing, if the water wasn't too high, they would just drive through it. And the biggest obstacle they had back in them days on the road was watching out for the livestock out, blocking the road, sometimes the wildlife. But this is basically the, the hazards of the day. And they lived simple life. All up and down these, around these rivers and these creeks was little old mills, corn mills back in the day. And they, all these little old roads go through every little community. This is the community of Lewiston, not far away. Of course, it's under the lake now, under the lake of Norris Lake. They go through all these little communities, these little country roads. Of course, they're all about all bypassed down there. But the first bridge of 33 is this what it looks like? It was built in 1922 on Crinch River. Now, I'd done a video earlier, cut about three years ago, on 33 Bridge and the site of the first one, but I was wrong. And after a lot of research, and as time went by, I found out that it was down the river about three miles from where the new bridge is. Here's the old road, and you can see here on the left where the old 33 bridge was. Here's a better map of it. In yellow is the original 33 highway route back before they built the new bridge. And here's the side of the new bridge, what pictures I can gather. Evidently, this was a baptizing taking place just below the first bridge. Look at the people on that old bridge. Of course, this is a hundred feet under the water now. They tore this bridge down and moved it. And there used to be an old store there, right where you crossed that bridge. Now, there's other bridges too. 
This is the Walker's Forge breed. It's about five miles up the river on the Clint from the new 33 breed. And they was the Loyston breed down here next to Lost Creek across the Clint. So they was plenty of bridges in this area. These communities were thriving. And here's a bridge of Steiner's. Steiner's Bridge on the Powell side, Shark's Chapel. It was a nice breed, but all it left there now is a ferry. Back to using a ferry. And here's another breed north of Steiner's, probably about five miles, Bunches Holler Breed, up above Greasy Holler on the Powell side. Well, there was plenty of bridges in these communities, but when North Lake was being established, the dam was being built. Here's the side of the dam. Just before the forks of the river, just below it. And they started working on this thing in about 33 and finished it in 36. They really got it up fast. And they acquired all the land. Here's the dam that it looks like today, the horse dam. And here's what it looked like when they when they was building the the Veterans Bridge, where 33 Bridge stands today. This is the very when they first started building, coming it out of the ground, the pier. And here's a picture of it just when he's getting ready to open. March of 1936. Old pictures of it. You can see how tall it is up out of the riverbed. Tall bridge. Of course, this is a deep lake down his river channel. And Here's another picture back when they getting ready to open it. Tall bridge. You don't look that way when you when you crossed it and it's full of water. And what'd they do with the old bridges? TVA tore them all down. But mostly they done this right here. They blowed them up. This is the Walker Ford Bridge. They blowed it up. This is the Lawson's Bridge. They blowed it up. They kept them open as long as they could, but in the spring of 36, they blowed them all up or tore them down. This is what they look like now, under a hundred foot of water. In the old Highway 33, it started being submerged. Here's some pictures of it being underwater. Water coming up over the old road. And some places, some people held out to the lice and they didn't even tire their houses down. Water just come up over. But they took down most of them. Some places they did. Now the old Highway 33 route went across here. This is the route of it. What happened to that old road? It completely sunk under the water. Here's remnants of it. This is at Palmer's Junction. This is what's left of it. You can see where it goes in and out of the water in certain places. This is what it looked like before the lake come up. A little drawing of how it run. And thousands upon thousands of soldiers went down this road during the Civil War. I mean thousands. A lot of time and history went down this old road, but it's under the lake. Now they had to work on the dam a little bit, 46, 48, to drop the water way down. Now here's what it looked like when they dropped it down. See where they've cleared the trees? You could see some of the old roads coming back out of the water. Still had some of the signs on. Now, there's the old 33 bridge. Back in the late 40s. 
used to be silver for a long time. And you see remnants here when the water's down in the winter time on the drop of the lake of the old road went through here. This is an old road, the old 33 road bridges. And you see remnants when I walk through here of old houses along this road, old foundations. They're mostly under the lake in the summertime, but some of them become exposed in the late fall and the winter when the water's low. A lot of time went by here. A lot of people struggled just to make, just to make a living. In old places like this, edge of the lake, that nobody never sees. Old rock walls, how much time and effort's been put into these and these old farmland. An old 33 bridge, after it opened up at first, a lot of people done walking, they didn't have vehicles. They walked this bridge a lot. Looks like a big bridge, don't it? But it's not. The old pictures here time went by and the vehicles got bigger a lot of people lost mirrors and a lot of people even lost their life on this old bridge and here they even had the first they had a boat dock here on the north side of the bridge 33 bridge marina this is looking just to the other side of the road there on the north side this was taken in 1944 and there, you can, see, you can see the dock and all the houseboats there on the north side. That stayed up to about the early 70s. Now here the old bridge compared to the new bridge just before they tore it down. Old 33 bridge. Look how narrow looking it looks compared to the new one to today. And when they tore it down, they blowed the piers up. Well, there's nothing left of the old bridge. You don't even know it's there unless you know your history. And here's what she looks like today. It's a beautiful bridge. Will it stand the test of time? So beautiful with the terrain. Across Norse Lake. And I fished a many a night under this bridge, the old bridge. Well, here's the new, beautiful bridge. Beautiful lake. A lot of people remembers this old 33 bridge. A lot don't. It'll slowly be forgotten unless you know your history. Now the old bridge, it will always be in my memory. I'll always remember. So I thought I'd share this with you. Hope you enjoyed. God bless and I'll see you next time.